In this video, I'm going to look at the equilibrium or dynamic equilibrium that exists when you add together a source of iron 3 plus ions in aqueous solution. So you can see from the bottle label there, I'm going to use iron 3 chloride that contains iron 3 plus ions. And I'm going to add that to a source of thiocyanate ions. So I'm using potassium thiocyanate. You can see, well, you can see from the actual bottles themselves, the iron 3 plus ions are a yellow colour. Hopefully you can see the yellow felt tip underneath there. And the thiocyanate ions are obviously colourless. And as you'll see in a moment, when you add these two chemicals together, they produce this ion here, and that is red in colour. So you can see from the beaker, I've already introduced a small amount of iron 3 plus ions. You just see the yellow at the bottom of the beaker there. And to this, I'm going to add a few drops of the thiocyanate ion. And if we have a look at what colour is formed, so it's going that deep red colour. So I'll put about five or six drops in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this up with water, with distilled water, and I'm then going to split this solution into five equal parts. So I'll just do that now. So you can see now in the beaker I've got this red coloured solution because I have this ion present now. And what's happened is this has actually reached an equilibrium. And if you remember the definition of an equilibrium, a dynamic equilibrium is achieved when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. So inside this beaker now, we have all three of these ions present. So we don't just have the red one, we have the thiocyanate ion and the Fe3 plus ion as well. And because equilibrium has been established, the concentrations of these three ions are constant. They're not changing. So you can see now I've taken some of the, the sort of orangey red coloured solution out and I've split it into five test tubes. I've tried to get the same amount in each test tube. I'm going to put one to one side because I'm going to use this test tube as my control. So I'm not going to change anything about this one. Uh, and we're going to use this to, to see what has happened to the position of the equilibrium. So the first experiment I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my four remaining test tubes. Remember one's been put to one side as a control. And I'm going to increase the concentration of the iron 3 plus ions. And now all I'm going to do is add a, a, a drop of this. So we've studied Le Chatelier's principle. And remember, Le Chatelier's principle states that when you have a dynamic equilibrium and it's subject to a change, so I'm going to change the concentration of the iron 3 plus ion first, it will respond to minimise the change. So how do equilibria respond? They move. So it will either move forwards or it will move in the reverse direction to try and counteract the change that you've imposed. And the great thing about this equilibrium is, is the fact that we have these colours. So if the equilibrium moves to the right, it will get redder or darker. If the equilibrium moves to the left, we're going to have more of these substances present and therefore, well that's colourless, that's yellow, it will get lighter. So here's the test tube, there's the result of the addition of this extra drop of iron 3 plus ions. If I bring the control tube in now and hold them side by side, hopefully you can see that the control tube is lighter than the tube that's just been um, had the extra drop of iron 3 plus ions in. So you can see this has got darker. The equilibrium must have moved this way to the right.
to minimise the change. So just put that back. So we've increased the concentration of ion 3 plus ions. We've upset the equilibrium. How does the equilibrium respond? It moves this way. So some of the thiocyanate ions react with the ion 3 plus ions that have increased the concentration and the equilibrium moves this way. So the next one I'm going to do, the next change I'm going to impose on the equilibrium is I'm going to increase the concentration of the thiocyanate ion. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to get a drop of thiocyanate, add it to the test tube. This is the same colour as the control tube and we'll compare the colour when the new equilibrium is established. So we'll just draw a drop up, put that in. Yeah, that's happened, that's worked. So just squirt the rest of that back in. So there's the test tube. I'll bring the control back and hopefully you can see that the tube that I've just added the drop of thiocyanate to is darker than the control tube. So that means the equilibrium has moved to the right. So it's the same argument as before. We've increased the concentration of one of the reactants. Therefore, ion 3 plus ions react with these extra thiocyanate ions and therefore the equilibrium shifts over to the right. The next change I'm going to make to the equilibrium is I'm going to decrease the concentration of ion 3 plus and I'm going to do that by adding a chemical called ammonium chloride. So I'm going to add a spatula of ammonium chloride to one of my remaining two test tubes there's the control, still the same as before, and we'll see what happens to the colour of the test tube. I've just added the ammonium chloride, I'm giving it a shake, and hopefully you can see what's happening to the colour. I'll bring the control tube out in a second, but I'm sure you can see actually from just watching this, it's getting paler. I'll bring the control tube to compare, there they are. So this is the, the new test tube. This is the control. So which way has the equilibrium shifted now? It's obviously shifted to the, the left hand side, the lighter side. So why has it done that? Well if we've reduced the concentration of this chemical here, the iron 3 plus, the equilibrium kind of not happy about that, so it wants to put them, put them back and restore the equilibrium, uh, minimise the change, and so these ions on the right here have to break up and produce some more iron 3 plus ions so that the equilibrium is restored.